as of 2020, it's safe to say that Project Cars has, well, it, it's it's fallen off. L plus ratio. Project Cars 3 was a massive disappointment for a lot of people. I'm not saying it's the worst game. I'm just saying it's definitely not what a lot of people in the Project Cars community were expecting. That being said, here in 2022, how does Project Cars 2 hold up? See, Project Cars 2 was kind of the best out of the series. It wasn't perfect, but in my personal opinion, I think it's definitely one of the top sims I've ever played, just because it's a lot easier to set up, it's a lot easier to get into as opposed to some of the other sims that were out there at the time, or I guess that I was playing at the time. Now I've kind of moved on to a set of Corsa as of late, so I haven't played this in actually a couple of years. I just picked it up this week, started messing around and trying to get used to the physics again, but I think it should personally be a lot of fun. Today I thought we would do a quick 20 minute session in a Group A skyline around the Le Mans Bugatti circuit, which isn't necessarily a Group A track, but I think it should be pretty fun. I'm actually a big fan of touring cars. I wish we had more of it here in America. Quite literally, the only racing series we have left is NASCAR, and I mean, the track racing is okay, I guess, but it'll never be, you know, the time of Group A, or even now with the British Touring Car Series, there's some insanely good cars there. But all that out of the way, I think it's going to be a fun race. Let's go ahead and get started. We got 20 minutes of RB26 goodness. Let's see what happens. Like I said, this should be a pretty fun race. We're going to take it easy his first couple of, uh, First couple of laps, just get a feel for the track again. Um, see, my expertise is front wheel drive, and <laughs> these old school rear wheel drive Group A cars, they're a little bit slidey, especially uh, especially on the braking. The braking feels a lot different compared to a Seto. That's the one thing I can definitely say as a major comparison. I mean, physics-wise, this game has held up really well. I don't know how I'd explain it necessarily. I can say it feels rather authentic. I'm a huge sucker for these old Skylines, though. I am such a Skyline fanboy. I actually have been looking into getting one. Oh, that guy just snuck, up, <laughs> snuck around us. No, but yeah, I've actually been looking into getting a... Not like a GTR, there's no way I can afford a GTR, but I could probably get like a GTS or even a GTT if uh, I really wanted to. I've actually really grown to like the uh, the sedans, the, the R33 sedan, the R32 sedan, I think they look awesome. I would love to find one of those and actually, I don't even know if I'd really do any kind of crazy modifications other than, you know, I'd probably have to buy an automatic one that's all I can really afford when it comes to uh, some of those Japanese cars, but I mean, that's a pretty easy swap. We gotta work on our braking zones. That's definitely the big thing holding us back right now. So we're able to get around people, but then they come you know, flying right back as soon as I hit the brakes, so that's what I'm going to start focusing on. I'm on a, uh, a G920, which as you know has a horrendous brake pedal. You know, for a consumer wheel, it's not it's not really that bad, but I'd like to uh, upgrade it soon. It's I, I've noticed the more I drive like actual cars, the less it starts to feel like an authentic experience. I actually switched over to Fanatex 8 shifter, which feels way nicer than the last, uh, the, the Logic Tech one. The Logic Tech one, I would even, it, it feels like one of those, like, arcade shifters. G920 is just not really up to par for me specifically. So I want to look into getting a proper Fanatec wheel, proper pedal set eventually because that's the other thing this clutch feels it, it doesn't feel like a clutch I'll put it that way that's just because I'm used to driving a clutch a, a very old one <laughs> I actually still need to swap that out I got 
I have a new clutch for my uh, Jetta just sitting around. I just need to put it in. I was kind of bummed my uh, Track IR stopped working. Uh, I had one of the Pro Clips, so I gotta order a new one. Because I wanted to use it with this. Because it is kind of hard to know where the car is when you can't look at it. Uh oh, sh <laughs> I told you we'd been it! Swing around there. Careful around this first turn. Oh, this car is too much fun though. I think group... Out of all the cars in this game, Group A is definitely my favorite category. Which is these old... These old cars are so squirrely, but they're so balanced at the same time. There's definitely such thing as too perfect, too balanced. And I think these cars just... They're a perfect combination of just balanced and off the walls. Oh, careful, 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 careful! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> like I said, a <laughs> little, little too fast. Well, the, uh, the good thing is we're not last. Knock on wood, knock on wood, knock on wood. Okay. <laughs> this is actually something I've noticed that sim racing just doesn't... It, it gives you a really good experience. You can learn a lot from driving a simulator. But it definitely isn't going to be the same experience of being in an actual car. Like, you know, if I was actually in this skyline right now, like behind the wheel, I would not be driving it the way that I'm driving it right now. Ooh! No, but in all actuality, the one major thing with a simulator that I like to an extent but dislike at the same time is that you can go way over the top with a car. Sometimes intentionally if you just want to learn, you know, the limits of a car or if you just want to have fun with it. But sometimes you can do it by mistake because you just don't feel everything in the car. The only sort of response, like physical response I'm getting, other than just auditory things like the tires screeching or the car, just different sounds that you normally hear, the only like haptic response I'm getting is through the steering wheel. Where in an actual car you can feel like you you can at least the way that I kind of feel when I'm hitting the limit of the car is through the gas pedal because you can feel when you know the cars the wheels are spinning or if you know, you're starting to oversteer or understeer because something like this I'm I'm not too sure what the suspension would be like on this car but with my actual car my Jetta I've swapped out every most of the uh, the bushings on the suspension for polyurethane ones. And it's really just made the feel of the car so much better. You can feel like every divot, every like change in the uh, the surface. But obviously to get that in a simulator, like a computer simulator, you're gonna need like thousands of dollars because they do have proper rigs, but even those won't have the same effect of just driving a real car. Which stinks, but I mean, for what we have, for, you know, even just this on like a consumer wheel, I mean, it feels awesome. You know, as I was saying earlier, just to reiterate, like, you can learn a lot on one of these sims. I mean, people like Jimmy Broadbent are quite literally like a perfect example of that. The team that Jimmy's on, they just won the Pocket Cup in the UK, and he got his start on, you know, racing sims. That's incredible. Definitely, whoa, definitely feel the uh, tires are starting to heat up, though. Triple around, uh, 
this corner. I've you can probably tell I've been taking it a bit easy now. Ever <laughs> since erect. Alright, two minutes, come on. We gotta let's at least get back up to where we were. Let's get around this guy, good. We meander through here? Probably not. That was probably not good for the tires either. Right, we got a minute left. Looks like we got if we can make it to the finish line, we got about one more lap. Let's not get too cocky here. Alright, good. Shut you out there. Oh, shit! No! <laughs> You're kidding! Cannot believe we just did that. We were we were doing so good, minus the, the other time I lost control. Oh, can we at least get 28th? Alright, come on. Let's at least get in front of this guy. That's just depressing. Whoops. Now we're just grinding gears trying to catch up. We're not going to catch up to that other group though. Damn it. Oh, and, oh, yeah, just, just to make it better. Wow. So we ended up in, well, I'm going to assume 29th, yeah. Wow, okay. I think we did have the best slap of the day, though. So that's, uh, nope, no, we didn't. I mean, we raced, so I, I guess there's that. So that's Project Cars 2. I personally think it holds up pretty well, even though I don't know how to drive. And this probably was not a good representation of just how good the simulation was. But I had a lot of fun, and I hope you did too. With all that out of the way, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button. It helps out a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell because that's going to keep you updated on whenever I upload something new. And as always, I hope you have a good day. Take care.